Hello, rainy one. Today I want to show you very quickly how to grow wheatgrass. Now I have a 30-minute video out there, so and I go over it in detail, the pros and the the cons, the troubleshooting, and all of that. But if you just want to see really quick how to grow wheatgrass, this is the video you want to watch first. So first thing you want to do is you want to sprout your little wheat berries, okay? And I'm using, um, you want the red wheat berries, and I'm using um, certified organic wheat berries from the Sprout House, okay? And you're going to put two cups. We're going to use a 10 by 20 tray, so we're going to put two cups, and I already have one cup in there. Okay, and that's my little handy dandy thing I made so that I don't spill my little seeds. So I get my two cups, and I'm just going to fill this container with some filtered water. Well, not fill it, you just want to cover the wheat berries because they're going to expand a bit. And then you're going to let them sit overnight, okay? Um, you can, 8 to 12 hours, but I usually just let them sit overnight. Then you're going to, um, the next morning what I'll do is I'll come and I'll just drain this out and I'll rinse them. And after about a day and a half, really happens really fast, okay? After about a day and a half, they look like this, okay? Can you see that? You see the sprouts? Okay, if you let them go too long, like I did, I should have showed you, I should have showed you a picture, like I did for, for my the last tray that I just did, is they're going to be hard to come out of the container, number one. And number two, um, when you do pull them out, if you break any of those little, what do you call them, sprouts? If you break them, they don't regrow, okay? So then your um, grass, you can still plant with them, but your grass is going to be a little bit uh, shoddy looking, okay? Like it's got some kind of disease or something. But you can still use them. I'm going to show you because that's what I did with this last um, tray. I'm going to pull this off so you can see on the inside. Okay, so I'm getting ready to plant these out. Okay, and basically all I'm going to do is take a 10 by 20 tray, fill it up with about two cups. You just need enough to cover the bottom. About two cups of potting soil. Okay, and then I'm going to um, spread my seeds across, wet them, and then I'll cover them. And what I usually do is just cover them with another 10 by 20 tray, one that doesn't have holes in it, okay? So then I have my, if you're gonna be growing them in the house, I have this 10 by 20 tray has holes in it, and then this one does it, so that when I rinse them, then I can just set it in here. Okay, so this is one that's about perhaps four or five days old. Now, you need to water them twice a day. Have I been doing that? No, I have not. Um, it is January um, here in California, so it is a little bit cold, you know, in the 50s and 60s, um, mostly like 50s, mid 50s. So you will find that in the winter time, it doesn't grow as long. How do you know that they're ready to be cut is when you see the second blade on them. So I'm gonna show you, okay? See that? See that's one one blade of grass, right? That's one blade, but it has two blades coming out. So then it's ready to be cut. And guess what? I have been cutting it, okay? So I usually just cut them with scissors. Um you can use a ceramic knife, which 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 is what I need to get. But this is going to this is how it's going to look after a few days and it's going to turn this color green right after the next day. You can grow these under lighting in the house. And it actually probably, because it'll be hotter in the house, will grow a little bit taller. Okay, so this one is quite not ready to cut. It's going to take about mm, 7 to 10 days, depending on your grass. And there you go. That is how you grow wheatgrass. And it's not that deep, okay? So um, what I usually do is I just section it right here. And you can watch the other video to see. But I just section it, I cut it, and I put it in a wheatgrass juicer. I have an electric one. And I have a um, manual one. And uh, so you have to make sure that you don't use a regular juicer. It has to be a, a masticating juicer or a juicer just specifically designed for wheatgrass. 